Hi, well, today I've made a slight mess of my 3D printer. What we have here is the plastic sheet on top of the printer, and as you can see, it got torn. It got torn because I was printing carbon fibre stuff. So, I'm going to try and change it. I have arrived from Amazon today, on a Sunday, a new sheet of PEI, cost about 50 quid to go on there. So a good start would be to find some tools, some allen keys. Now, I haven't actually looked up how to do this. <laughs> yeah, you heard me, I haven't actually looked up how to do this. Um, how hard can it be? But um, it did strike me as it's probably a good idea to cook this up a bit. I've turned it up to 50 degrees, just to uh, make things a little bit easier, I think. Now, we can see that where this tore here, trick now is whether it's going to be easy to get off at the edges. Now, here we go. This is the stuff. I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a trouble to clean the glass. Yeah, it's going to be trouble to clean the glass. Yeah, the problem is the adhesive is still on the glass. Now I have no idea how I'm going to clean that off. So that might be the next challenge. I think the heat is helping here. Except when you put your fingers on it too long, it is 50 degrees. Okay. I now need to work out how I get this adhesive off this glass because it's a nice adhesive and there's a nice clean bit of glass under there. Does it roll off? Oh, it might do. Look at that. Well, you can't see because you're not close enough, but okay, we well, might be onto a window here. Looks like this stuff will actually just rub off, so I'm going to have to get a cloth to clean it. So I'll cut out some of the boring bits of the video, because um, this is going to be boring. There will be a solvent for this, I can almost guarantee it, but, I mean... Unfortunately, I think we're running into a problem, because I think, now it's getting cooler, it's actually getting harder to get off. So I think I'm going to have to cook this a bit more, which of course is going to make it a lot harder for me to use my fingers which I, mean, I wonder if I cook this a lot will it come off a lot more easily so I'm tempted to to run it up to like 100 degrees or something and see what happens Well, annoyingly, whilst most of the glue has come off, there's a patch here that doesn't seem to want to actually come off cleanly. I'll just move around a bit. This side. Just take a look at this sheet and 
Let's see if there's any chance of me getting this on without air bubbles. <laughs> I'm going to go to all the effort, and you can guarantee that this is going to go horribly, horribly wrong. So, one big PDR sheet. The good news is it's bigger. I'm thinking my proposal here. Cover on the top. No. The proposal here is work from the corner backwards. So the bed's what 60 degrees. So my plan is stick down this corner. Classic of time. A little bit down onto the hot bed. A little bit more. So on all the way round. Next trick is going to be a scalpel, the hot bed, oh okay, that is quite tough. nice new PEI sheet on my TAT6 hotbed. I hope that wasn't too boring. My fingers feel terrible. That's one thing to watch out for. The cloth was definitely a good idea, so was heating it first. So that's the tip. Heated up quite a lot to get the glue off. Um, you may as well put this on while warm. That seemed to work fine. Work from one edge to the other. Remember it's got a lot of overlap, so if you can start with some overlap that would have been better because I'm actually, what, half a mil short here? If that. But, well worth doing, saves buying a complete new hotbed kit, which would be three times the cost. And um, Amazon got it here sort of next day, which is rather nice. So um, I'll try printing on it now. Thanks for listening. <laughs>